Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana and today we're gonna be making a delicious authentic Mexican beef soup. It is so delicious packed in flavor with a great combination of vegetables delicious and the meat is fall off the bone tender. I know you're gonna love this one so you know what before we get started I want to invite you to subscribe like this video and click the notification bell. I almost forgot that's an important part of the video. Let's get started. This beef soup we call caldo de res has amazing qualities that make it one of the best soups to have year round. It is hearty, flavorful, and comforting. To start, we need to cook the meat. Oxtail is my cut of choice because it provides everything we're looking for when making the soup. It's bony, contains fat, and the meat tenderizes beautifully, which in return will give you a flavorful broth. Generously season two and a half pounds of oxtails with salt and ground black pepper. Just make sure it is well distributed. Turn them around so they can pick up some of the seasoning laying on the cutting board surface. Next, place a large pot over medium high heat. Add about two tablespoons of olive oil and when the oil is nice and hot, proceed to brown the meat. Avoid turning until the side touching the oil has a nice brown color. Then turn on all the sides and let them turn a brown color as well. Browning the meat is such an easy step and the outcome is super tasty because it does create depth of flavor. Next, carefully pour in 15 cups of water. Bring to a boil and then lower to medium low heat to reach a simmer. Meanwhile, feel free to spoon out the scum from the surface. Now cover the pot and let the meat cook for about 3 hours on a low simmer. Meanwhile, we can get some prep done and the first set of ingredients will be for the guajillo sauce, which is going to color the broth and add another layer of wonderful flavor. Start by peeling four garlic cloves. What I like to do is smash them first so that the peel releases easily. Next, dice seven ounces of tomatoes. In my case, it was two Roma tomatoes. Also dice half of an onion. It doesn't need to be perfect. We will also need four guajillo dried chiles, deveined and rinsed. This soup needs vegetables. They will cook to perfection in a sea of luxurious flavors. When you prep them, know that they need to be cut as uniform in size as possible. We are looking for medium sized cuts. Okay, we are starting with one chayote. Although chayote is technically a fruit, it is mainly used as a vegetable in Mexico. Chayote is in season during the winter months, but I have seen it available year round. When purchasing them, make sure they are firm to the touch and smooth with a gorgeous bright skin. By the way, there's no need to peel the skin. Next, peel 13 ounces of gold potatoes and cut as mentioned previously. All of these veggies come in all shapes and sizes, but it's okay. Just try your best when cutting and have fun with it. Peel and cut three carrots. And as you can see, these are kind of thin. If you have thicker ones, you can add less. It's not an issue. Okay, we cannot forget the corn. It is a must when making this soup. Take two corn on the cob and cut across into four pieces each. Next, cut one zucchini. Typically, we would use calabacita, which is a very popular summer squash found in Mexico, but I didn't have any this time, so here's another great option. By the way, I love calabacitas. There's so many great dishes we can make with it, and it literally means little squash. We are almost done. Cut half a small head of cabbage. This will be a great addition because when cooked, the texture is delightful. Also cut one jalapeno pepper in half lengthwise, but don't cut all the way through the stem. This way it holds together. Chop half a bunch of cilantro. Lastly, we will need five mint or yerbabuena sprigs. The ingredients are ready. Let's make the guajillo sauce. Heat about two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. 
saute the onions and once softened add in the garlic and keep stirring frequently when the onions are translucent add in the tomatoes and allow them to soften and cook now add the aromatics starting with a quarter teaspoon of whole black peppercorns and two whole cloves a quarter teaspoon of ground turmeric and half a teaspoon of ground ancho chiles half a teaspoon of dry oregano and half a teaspoon of dry thyme stir to combine and enjoy the aromas seriously it smells amazing finally add in four large dehydrated guajillo chilies and stir frequently for a few seconds we don't want the chilies to burn because they will turn the salsa bitter then lower the heat if needed and carefully pour in one cup of water when the water begins to simmer remove from the heat and let the chilies rehydrate transfer all the sauce ingredients to the blender and process until completely smooth let's check on the meat it's now been two and a half hours and we will use the last 30 minutes to incorporate the remainder of the components this is the time to pour in the sauce which will color and flavor the broth the color it takes is beautiful. What I like to do is pour some of the broth into the blender. This way we can get the last bit of the sauce left behind. We don't want to waste any of it. Carefully swirl the liquid and pour back into the pot. Stir and watch everything merge. At this point, feel free to skim off the fat that did settle on top. Next, add all the corn, potatoes, chayote, jalapeño, mint leaves, and cilantro. When they are halfway cooked, add in the carrots and cabbage. By the way, make sure to cook the soup in a large enough pot because it does have a lot of ingredients. Now lightly salt the soup and stir it all in. When the veggies are almost cooked, add in the zucchini. What we want here is for all the vegetables to cook evenly. And since zucchini cooks faster, we add it almost at the end of the cooking time. The soup is ready when all the vegetables have cooked through, but are not mushy. And the meat should be fall off the bone tender. Taste and season with salt if needed. Serve in a large bowl and enjoy. Our ancestors loved to cook and took presentation seriously. It definitely had to taste great, but colorful dishes were made to lead you to taste by sight before you even took a bite or in this case, a sip. Lastly, you can top the soup with chopped red onion, cilantro, radish, and diced avocado. Drizzle some lime juice and accompany this comforting bowl of goodness with some corn tortillas. Look at this beauty. Enough talking, let's taste. I'm super excited because I get to taste this. It looks amazing. I have my spoon, so let's go ahead and dig in. This meat is so tender and we have such a great selection of vegetables. I'm excited. All right. I think I might have, let me see, there you go. <laughs> mm. My God, let me get some of those vegetables because they taste so good. I love zucchini. Mm. You know, Sometimes instead of potato, I like to add yuca. I don't know if you've ever heard about it. If you have, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know how many of you actually know yuca. It's so good. But today we opted for potato. Okay guys, I'm actually gonna head to the table and have this delicious meal. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. It is full of flavor, packed of such great ingredients. It's a true gem. Well, don't forget you can follow me on all of my social media platforms. Until the next one.